Okay, I got the, uh, I believe it's a dash camera system. Or not dash camera, uh, but a camera system for my van. Amazon. Using the trusty Swiss Army knife. Vehicle rear view camera systems. Rear view, that's what it says, but we got one for the front also. And I can add two more, one for each side. Let's see what we got inside here. Instructions, of course. We'll need that. Package nice. Got the display, which should be good. As I can view, I want to be able to view all four sides. That's, that's the goal. Wires, connections, and we got uh, two cameras so far, but it expands to four. These are heavy duty cameras, HD, night vision. Should get some good video with that. And the thing with this system too, it takes an SD card. So you can record what I can record and then uh, put it on my channel and whatnot. I just gotta figure where the SD card goes. But that's why we have instructions, right? Oh, look at that. Even a window mount. So you could put the front one, I guess, inside or on the back, looking out the window. But with the tinting, I don't know how well that'll work. So we'll, tr we'll try it out. So that's it so far. We've got two cameras and the monitor and wires, but wire it all together. What's in here now? Oh, antennas, because they're uh, wireless camera system. So antennas for the cameras. Cigarette lighter for powering. And hardware. I don't know if I'll get around to it today, but one of these days I'm going to install it and I'll videotape that and uh, show you how it works. Should be good though. The van uh, conversion's coming along. Okay, today I'm going to install the vehicle rear view camera system, but it's also got a front view and we're able to uh, add two more cameras. So it's going to be, uh, it works nice. I'm going to add two more so I have a view on all four sides. But we'll go through the instructions and see what we can do here. I'm just a novice. But a uh, person takes their time, they can do a lot of things themselves. You don't need to have a professional do everything. 
And so we're gonna put the monitor down in the floor area here. View it and then uh, tie in the wires. I believe the cameras can tie right into the tail light wires. Once we get going, we'll uh, see how it goes. You can see now I got things set up. I got the cooler in the front. I have a table here to put out back. Drawers. The bed is the main thing. And a bunch of storage in the back. Getting ready. Maybe this weekend they'll go out for a day trip. Check everything out. And it's beautiful weather today. Okay, we take out the parts. Monitor. Camera one. Or two connector if you want to put it on the windshield. I'll probably put the front one on the windshield. Same with the dash cam. Comes with a box of all the connectors, 12 volt, plug in the 12 volt, screws. Little antennas for the camera. Camera number two, and the connecting wires, and the instructions. So I'll go through the instructions. It's always best to read the instructions first, save you a lot of headaches, right? And then we'll start the install. Paper. Turns out there's a white a YouTube video in the instructions. So you can watch that and make it much easier the for the install, right? Like so I'm going to go way. watch that and then I'll come back out and uh, carry on. I'll also go relax in the house. It's about 14 minutes. Can fix the camera on your car like my okay, watch the video online. It's very uh, Good video straightforward I'll put a link in the comments I'm not going to show you the dirty details of it but uh, once we get it all in and I'll show you how it looks first of all I'm going to put it together on the table and then test it test the cameras and then uh, see about installing Everything organized. The more you organize, the better, right? Makes things easier. Plug her into the monitor. One wire. Put on the antenna. This connects on the back. into the camera number one and then we wire them together 
positive to positive, and white to white or ground to ground. So red to red. white to white. I'm going to need a couple tools here because I should twist them better. And I'm going to need a little screwdriver unless it's provided. Sometimes, usually they provide the tools. No. Allen key, no, I don't see a little screwdriver so I'll grab one of them. I'll just twist these together better. Now the connector for the power supply, 12 volt. Let's undo these little screws. Okay, so we got the positive red in the positive, negative in the negative, 12 volt. We'll plug it in our power supply. This is actually for my cooler, but I'm using it to test out the camera. This is good to test out the camera before you put it in, right? A little windy here. Plug it in. And when you press the button, I know it's hard to see from there, but cover it with your hand and you can see a red. We've got power. So we've got it hooked up, tested, and it's working. It's camera number two. 